Hey, welcome on in, guys. Tobin here with you, and thanks for checking out the channel. Hope you're doing fantastic out there, everybody. So I saw a blurb today. I, I had missed this that this was reported, uh, in fairness. But um, today, Ira Winderman, I was reading his uh, piece on Jimmy Butler, who's going to be in this uh, Netflix documentary, which I'm going to talk about in another video. But there was a blurb there at the end, which I had missed. I did not see that Ira had reported this days ago but that the Miami Heat are holding training camp in the Bahamas. And I got to tell you, this may seem like a dumb thing. I understand that maybe I'm overreacting to certain things here, but is this the year to go on the Bahamas training camp? Like, I'm just looking for the Miami Heat in a situation and maybe there's an identity that they're all like, hey, let's go away for training camp. It's unifying. We'll all be in the same resort. We'll all walk around together at the hotel. Maybe there's an element to that. But, you know, I think back to the big three and the big three had their first training camp together. And they had it at an army base in North Florida. And I was thinking of a year where the Miami Heat were missing a lot of games. Perhaps the tone of a Bahamas training camp is not exactly the foot I'd like to get off on. You know, I would like the Miami Heat to be training somewhere that's really decrepit. And in the middle of nowhere and no distractions, I would like them to like go off either to Sioux Falls or I would like them to go to another army base or I would like them to go somewhere that's not paradise because I think that connotes training camp. And I just have this feeling with the squad coming off the year they just did you know, if they wanted to do this last year, last year they did it in Boca, you know, so they kept it local. And I never know what goes into these decisions. What makes a training camp? What doesn't make a training? Because I believe the year before they did go play and they made the finals, but the regular season was still a little, eh, we know. I just felt like this was a year they needed a reset, reset, you know, do something really outlandish to get everybody back into the, uh, back into the trenches, you know? And I don't know. I just saw that. And I was like, really Bahamas. That's, that's where they decided to do training camp this year. Now, as an aside, if I can off chance, convince my uh, boss, the radio station to send us to the Bahamas, which is not going to happen. Then I will completely change my tune on this take. However, that's not going to happen. Ergo, uh, this Bahamas trip is ridiculous. And here's the other thing. Um, you know, I was listening to the OGs podcast, right? And it was uh, Hassan Whiteside sitting down with Udonis Haslam. And it was, it was a very enjoyable conversation. But there was at one point, Hassan Whiteside was talking about the conditioning test. And was talking about how the Miami Heat used to have to do the conditioning test every year. And one year, D-Wade made them wear masks for it. And then Udonis revealed in the interview, he goes, yeah, we don't do it anymore. And even Hassan Whiteside like was taken aback because the whole story kind of stemmed off of D Wade with even D Wade into the conditioning drill. And Udonis was saying, like, yeah, they don't do it anymore. And I was thinking to myself, eh, man. You know, Pat Riley talked in years past about the times with that heat culture. They needed to like tighten the screws a little bit on heat culture. And it just feels like, all right. We all agree, last year sucked. The availability of players was ridiculously bad. The tone that they want to set into training camp is, let's go off to a resort. I, and like maybe this is some kind of ad for Carnival that I'm un unaware of for the ownership or something like that. But I just find this to be so silly that a year they just came off with where availability and you know, not grinding through it and not, you know, not exactly uh, living up to the mantra that they wore across their jerseys and had on their courts, right? They were not the best conditioned. They were not the most professional team last year. 
They were not the hardest working team last year. They were the most unavailable team last year. And so to rally from that point, let's go off and have my ties sit on the beach with hammocks and go down water slides. And I get it. They can work out anywhere. All right. They're going to work out anywhere. That's fine. I'm sure they'll have rigorous workouts. I'm sure Spo will talk about how competitive it is. And that's fine. However, it still is the Bahamas. And a lazy river, after all that conditioning, does take the sting off of it and doesn't exactly have that, the next day we got to get after it even worse. You know, I feel like if they had to go to like Kaiser University like they did. Remember that? With the heat, we were up here in West Palm Beach, right? And they worked out. It was Jimmy Butler's first year. And I'll never forget. Remember what the storyline was? And some people even like made fun of him for this. I believe Kevin Love actually did. That Jimmy Butler was getting up at 3 a.m. every single day to work out with his teammates. And so much so that even like Bam was getting up with him and Myers Leonard was getting up with him. And, it, you know, Jimmy was like, they were like, oh, really? You got to get up at 3 a.m. to go work out? But that's what I want this year. I want a 3 a.m. workout story. Okay, I need... I need the Gooseys to be around the heat anymore. And so, like, when I hear Udonis Haslam say things like, yeah, the conditioning test, tell Hassan Whiteside. You know how crazy it is that Hassan Whiteside is looking at the heat sideways and be like, wait a minute, y'all aren't doing it like you did with me? No, apparently not, Hassan. And I don't know what this is. Like, they've already had their, tra- like, Spose traveled and Bam's traveled and Jimmy's in China right now. Everybody's had their little abroad time. Why in God's name are we having training camp where people are drinking out of out of uh, coconuts and gambling at roulette tables? I want to know. I, I I just I don't I don't I don't know. It just doesn't feel like hey, let's get this off to the to the vibe we need. We were just bounced by the Boston Celtics, and I also read uh, in uh, I think Ira tweeted this out that the Sixers are doing the same thing that they're going to the Bahamas. And if there's one team that you want to match energy of, oh, it's the Philadelphia 76ers. And I just I was like, well what what in God's name are they doing with this? I don't get it. I don't like to me, if this was off a of finals year, one thing. Uh, even an Eastern Conference finals year, that's one thing. All right? Like they did All right, they, they went to the Eastern Conference finals, went to the Bahamas next year. Cool. You know what? Reward it. Team Went far, fine. This team has just had the longest summer they've had in three years. Everybody's taken the vacations they've had to, had they not? Now we need a training camp vacation. I don't know, man. Maybe I'm being a maybe I'm being a decrepit old fuddy duddy man about this. Um, it's just optics, you know. It's just it's it's optics of it. It doesn't look good, right? Like, I go back to where Jimmy missed the game, the famous game that he missed this year after going to the Miami Open, right? And it's like, maybe Jimmy Butler really couldn't have played that game. I'm not saying that he couldn't have, but the optics of it aren't very good. The optics are, of it aren't very good. And so you have a Miami Heat fan base right now, okay? They are starving for the team to make moves. Make move, do something general. Okay, you did it. You're running it back again. Fine. Fine. You're running it back again. But can you guys at least make it appear like you're going to do something different this season that's going to like say, hey, everyone's taking this game and taking this season extra serious. We're all rallying around each other. Can you just show me that? And the Heat are like, we can right after we get back from the Bahamas. Uh, and, And you know, like, look, this is not... Dolphins training camp, heat training camp literally lasts a week. So it's a week in the Bahamas. This is not a long trip that the team is going on, which is why you should have gone to some army base again. Like throw it back, Spo. That's what I want, man. I want like you guys going off, go train at altitude, you know, like send the Miami Dolphins off to Big Bear and and train at, at altitude. Do something crazy. Bahamas? That's what your answer was for getting bounced this season, gentlemen swept style to the eventual champs, your rivals, the Boston Celtics. That's what you did? You know, why? 
I just don't think it sets the right tone.